If it's high quality and if it's distinctive, it's probably expensive. There's no shortage of expensive products and services these days. Everything has gotten more and more expensive. And that means if you sell a product that is expensive, you have to help the customer understand why it is they should be buying your product or service. You know, an expensive product presents some different challenges because so many people are out there price shopping. They're looking for the best value. Even folks who are affluent and, and have plenty of money to spend on what they like, it doesn't mean that they're going to just spend an un unlimited sum on something. So if you sell an expensive product or service, you have to plan the process. And planning ahead is one of those important things that many sales professionals don't do, but it really will serve you well if you think ahead about how to plan your interaction with the prospect. One of the first things you want to think about are the intangibles of your product or service. What are those intangibles? This is particularly important when it comes to expensive products or services because you're really tapping into the psychology of the prospect or customer. You see, there are emotions that are swirling in their head about the product or service, but they have to find a way to link those emotions to the right logic to buy that product or service. So you have to help them understand what those intangibles are. Now, one way of doing that is to focus less on what the product is, but rather what the product does. You see, you have to help the customer visualize themselves with the product. They have to imagine themselves being in a position of ownership and how that might change their life. And if they're able to do that, you're going to be much closer to being able to close that sale. The other thing that's important is you have to be absolutely sure that you're dealing with the right person. So many times you can talk about the intangibles of the sale. You can talk about the tangibles of the sale or the product, but realize you're dealing with the, the completely wrong person. So when you're thinking about what the right way is to approach selling your expensive product, these are really important considerations because when a product is expensive, it triggers lots of different emotions in the customer. And you want to make a distinction between why your product is, is expensive, whether it's the heritage, the value, the quality, the craftsmanship, or whether it's just expensive, because a lot of folks will be looking at those numbers and they won't be able to make that distinction. So step number one, when you're selling something expensive, is to consider the prospect that you're dealing with and prepare, get those intangibles on, on, you know, in your mind so that you're ready to present them effectively, make sure you're dealing with the right person and be prepared to tap into those emotions. Now, I'm going to talk with you about what happens after preparation, but work on that preparation because that will put you in a great position to move the sales forward. If you like this video, let me know by clicking like below and be sure to also subscribe to this channel to be notified of my latest videos as they're released.